It does not take long to understand why the Tanjong Pagar area in Singapore is known as Little Korea. For decades, this stretch of the road has been lined with Korean restaurants and shops. 23-year-old Ko Dae-jin moved here four months ago from the South Korean port city of Yeosu. He has high hopes for next week's historic summit between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. Many people will change their perception and think that South Korea is safer. This kind of event does not take place very often. I hope it's successful. It's not known how many North Koreans are in Singapore. There's an embassy here, but the government recently stopped issuing work permits and halted all trade after UN sanctions were tightened. It's estimated that there are 30,000 South Koreans living in Singapore, a tight community with their hub right here in Little Korea, a place where they can gather, a place where they can have a taste of home. The Korean Association in Singapore has been around for more than 50 years. Actually, as a South Korean, we hoped that this summit happened in South Korea, Panmunjom. This is a historic moment, right? So I'm really happy to be here in Singapore at this yeah, historic moment. The association is planning a gathering for June 12th, so members of the Korean community can watch the summit together. For now, they're going about their business as usual, but in a few days, a meeting will be held just across town that could forever change the future of their homeland. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Singapore.